Brett, you're an absolute lifesaver. We take this thing out, we flog the hell out of it, then we bring it in here and dump the red pig on you. Well, it's actually not too bad, Simon. I mean, for what this vehicle does and the life it's had, it's survived really, really well. And even this time with the repairs that we're doing, it's nothing overly major, considering this vehicle would probably get more of a hammering than any other four-wheel drive on the road. So what have you had to do to it this time to keep us mobile? So this time, you had the broken coil in the front, so we've replaced both front struts, front coils on it. We've serviced it, and we're still going through the service at the moment. The rear diff pinion, the dust cover, had actually come loose and was just rattling around. So we've just removed that and put the tail shaft back on. We're currently just changing the suction control valve on the fuel pump because we've found that it did have a small fuel issue and it's, we've tracked it back to being a suction control valve. So it's a fairly complex job on this particular vehicle to change. Every Comrail has one, but we've had to strip pretty much one side of the engine down to get to it. Yep. So that's where we're currently at at the moment. Then we'll fit up these new Coopers for you and it's all good to go for another 10,000 Ks. And Brett, the new Cooper Evolution MT, a little bit of a different looking tyre. Definitely different to their normal tyre, their normal mud terrain that they do. It'll be quite interesting to see how they go. They're a lot blockier than what their traditional type mud terrain is, the STT. Being a new tyre out, Cooper's always high quality anyway, so I have no doubt that they'll last and they'll do exactly what they're supposed to do. But yeah, just a different direction, I suppose, from their normal stuff. And I have to laugh, I look across there at the bash plate that's come out in front of this car and I think it, it tells a few stories. <laughs> oh, it tells more than a lot of stories, but looking at that, especially from our point of view, it's been a lifesaver. It would have done a lot of damage to the underside of this vehicle if you did not have a decent bash plate under it. Brett, thank you again. Fantastic job keeping us and the camera crew on the tracks and on the track safely. Really appreciate it. Anytime. No drama, Simon. Thank you.